From burgers to cars, it is a weekend for nostalgia in Tupelo. WCBI's Chad Groening has a story. During the 1920s, Duty's Diner was a Memphis street car until Duty Christian purchased it and opened Duty's Diner in 1946. It became an iconic gathering place for the Tupelo community. Duty's Diner was one of the hot spots for the teenage crowd. Uh, it was a uh, it was Donna's Grill, the A and W, and Little Joe's, the Clover Leaf, and of course on Friday and Saturday night we just made the loop between them. And court duty opened about five o'clock in the morning, and they stayed open till twelve o'clock at night. I met a couple today that used to their date. They would on on Saturday nights they lived in Pontotoc, and they'd come to Tupelo, and and that was the highlight of the of the weekend was eating at Duty's Diner. And of course the signature item on the menu was a Duty Burger which is recreated every year here at the Duty Burger Festival. The Duty Burger is actually a hamburger made of a little bit of meat, a whole lot of flour, some water, salt, and pepper. And this was during the Depression. They made this to stretch the meal out because, you know, money was tight back then. Of course, they had a regular hamburger too, but he was known for his Duty Burger. If you lived here in Tupelo in the late 1950s or early 1960s and wanted to head over to Duty's Diner, you may have done so in one of the vehicles behind me, an Etzel. And this weekend, Etzel owners from all over the United States are here in Tupelo for a weekend of nostalgia. The International Etzel Club started in 1969, and this year Tupelo is getting to host its annual convention. Larry Stegall of Pontotoc owns two Etzels, which were made by Ford for three years, 1958, 59, and 60, that proved to be a bust at the time. He says people didn't like the front grill, which looked like an old horse collar. And there were a lot of problems with the push button electric power automatic transmissions. Back when the cars, you know, were relatively new and, and uh, at one time, you know, the dealers couldn't get rid of them. And you, you go trade it in, you wouldn't, dealers wouldn't give you anything for, it, for a trade value. And it just kind of became uh, synonymous with the word pager. Uh, People just, uh, I've heard tales that people would actually would hide their cars because they didn't want people to know that they actually bought an Edsel. Uh, so it just kind of became a joke there for, for years. But now owners gather to watch old commercials and videos featuring Edsels and eagerly bid on parts at an auction during the convention. Chad Groening, WCBI News, Tupelo. Edsel Club members from around the country say they enjoyed touring the Elvis birthplace and other sites in the area.